Hey everyone, welcome back to SFDC Ninja and today I am back with one more Apex Trigger scenario. First of all, I would like to thank Vipul for sharing this scenario which he faced in his interview for NTT Data. Guys, if you have any scenario that you would like me to cover, feel free to leave a comment. I will definitely create a video on it. So yes, without wasting any more time, let's start with the scenario. Let's first understand the data model for today's scenario. So data model for this scenario is not so complex. In this scenario, account, contact and user object will be used. This is the data model. Now let's understand the scenario. So in today's scenario, whenever an account record gets updated, then we need to send an email to the owner of the account record with the details of the contact which gets modified between the last update and current update of account. Let me explain it again. Let's say we have an account record on which two contacts are present. Let's say contact 1 and contact 2. Now two days earlier, I updated this account record and after that I updated contact 1. Then today, I again update this account record. So I updated the account record two times, today and two days earlier. And between these two updates, I updated the contact 1 record. Now on second update of account, an email should be sent to the owner of account with the details of contact 1 record, which is updated between the current update and last update of account. Let's say if user updates both contact 1 and contact 2 between the time frame of account updation, then in the email, details of both contacts should be included. I hope that now the scenario is clear to you. It's time to code, so let's move to VS Code and let's create our handler class. Uh, let's say email trigger handler. Let's create our method. And in this method, we will pass two parameters, a list of account In this list, we will pass trigger.new from a trigger. So this list is equal to trigger.new and a map In this map, we will pass trigger.oldmap from a trigger. So this map is equal to trigger.oldmap. Now guys see, we'll be needing related contacts of account. And we also need the date of last updation of account. So to get the related contact, we need ID of account which is being updated. So what we will do? We will create a map to store both ID, date time, let's say parent, account last update map in this map we will store account id in key which we will use to fetch the related contacts and updation date time in value which we will use for comparison now let's apply a null check on this list copy its name paste it here is empty. Iterate over it. Now guys, we need to compare last update and current update of account. That's why we also need old version of account. So let's create an instance in which we will store the old version of account record using this map. So let's create an instance. Let's say old ECC, apply a null check on this map. And let's fetch the old version. Old ACC dot get new ACC dot ID. So in this old ACC, we have the old version of account. Now we will apply a check like this new ACC dot last modified date not equals to old ACC dot last modified date. This is to confirm that account record has been updated. And if this condition gets true, I mean if account record gets updated, then we will store its ID in key of this map. So copy its name. 
and we will store its previous modified date type in value like this dot put new ecc dot id old ecc dot last modified date copy this map name and apply a null check on it now this is the main part of our code where we need to get the contacts which gets updated between the time of last update and current update so let's see how we can get these contacts list of contact let's say updated contacts select id last modified date count id let's fetch the name also from contact where account id is in key of this map now here we will add two conditions let's see we need contact records which gets updated after the last modified date and before the current modified date of account basically starting point is that last modified date of contact should be after the last modified date of account which we already have in this map so let's apply a condition like this last modified date is greater than the values present in this map and the last modified date of contact should be before the current modified date of account system dot now so using these two conditions we have fetched the contacts that have been updated within a specified time frame now we have the contact records that we need to send in email so let's create an email body like this email body let's say the following contacts have been updated basically we will pass this variable in set plain text body of email now i trade over the list of contacts let's say con updated contacts and put the name here email body let's say name we can also add more details here but as of now we will only put the name now guys we have the content that we need to send in email but till now our code does not know that to whom it needs to send this email but we know that we need to send this email to the account owner for that we need the email of the owner so let's see how we will get the email first we will store the owner id of the account which is being updated in a set so let's create a set first let's say owner ids and here is store the owner id like this dot add new acc dot owner id now guys using this owner id we will fetch the email like this map id user owner id to user map select id comma email from user where id is in this set now in this map we have id of user in key and and other user details like email in value 
so we can easily get the user details by the user id i mean if we have an account and we will pass its owner id in get method of this map then we can easily fetch the email of the user and we need email of the owner of the account which is being updated so let's iterate over this list again for account let's say acc apply a check that if this map contains the owner id like this if copy its name paste it here dot contains key acc dot owner id if this condition will get true then we will simply store the id of account and its email in a map so let's create a map like this map id let's say string count owner emails copy its name paste it here dot put acc dot id and fetch the email dot get acc dot id dot email okay here we need to pass the owner id so like i told you that we can easily fetch the email of the user by passing the id in this map so we have everything that is needed to send email we have the email id and we also have the details that we need to send now let's create the email we need to send the email for the account which is being updated and we have id of those account in key of this map so let's iterate over it and let's create the email let's set the address let's also set the subject in your account and finally let's set the body copy this variable name paste it here let's create a list for it copy its name paste it here and add email in it and finally use the send email method to send it send email so we have our handler class ready save it and deploy it to work it is successfully deployed now let's create a trigger let's say email trigger a trigger will be on account object it is obvious and it will get triggered on after update event copy our handler class name paste it here copy our method name pass trigger dot new in first parameter and trigger dot old map in second and we can also apply a check like this trigger dot is update save it and deploy it to work it is successfully deployed 
we have our code ready it's time to see it in action so let's go to our org in our org we have this account now let's update one of the contact let's update this one click on save click on edit and let's update this account now when this account will get updated an email should be sent to the account owner with the details of updated contact so let's update the phone number click on save let's refresh this and here you can see the email with the detail of updated contact so that's it for today guys and i'll be back with more interesting trigger scenarios thank you and keep watching